Hello students, this is Class 7, Science, Chapter 1, Nutrition and Plants, Lecture Number 1. In this video, we will be covering topics Number 1, Nutrition Number 2, Modes of Nutrition Number 3, Autotropic Mode of Nutrition in Plants that is photosynthesis. Let us first take the topic nutrition. What is nutrition? The process of taking in food and its utilization by the organism is called nutrition. Now what are nutrients? The various components of food are called nutrients. These components are carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, roughage and water. Now let us look the second topic that is modes of nutrition. Modes of nutrition. Living organisms exhibit two modes of nutrition namely autotropic nutrition and heterotropic nutrition. Autotropic. Auto means self, trops means nourishment. Heterotropic. Heteros means other, trops means nourishment. Let us first look what is autotropic nutrition. The mode of nutrition in which organisms make their food from simple substances is called autotropic nutrition. Some bacteria and all green plants are autotrophs. They are also called producers. Secondly, heterotrophic nutrition. The mode of nutrition in which organisms obtain food from plants or other animals is called heterotrophic nutrition. All animals and non-green plants are called heterotrophs. They obtain their food from plants or other animals. The third topic is autotropic mode of nutrition in plants, photosynthesis. Photosynthesis, food making process in plants. You know, photo means light and synthesis means to make. Photosynthesis is the preparation of food by green plants in the presence of light. Green plants use energy from sun in making food. So, they are called photoautotrophs.
as we learnt plants require some raw materials for performing the process photosynthesis let us now look at all these raw materials one after another first material is chlorophyll chlorophyll is the green pigment found inside chloroplasts it traps solar energy and changes it into chemical energy during photosynthesis second raw material water water is obtained by the plants from the soil by their roots and is transported to the leaves through xylem here xylem are the vessels that transport water and minerals to the leaves from roots the third material is carbon dioxide commonly represented as capital c capital o and 2 in the subscript the cells of leaves get carbon dioxide from the air the air enters leaves through tiny pores called stomata the singular stomata are called stoma stomata are present on the under surface of leaves and open into air spaces fourth and last raw material is sunlight when sunlight falls on a chlorophyll molecule its energy is absorbed this energy makes carbon dioxide and water to combine and glucose is formed green plants use these raw materials and make their food in the form of glucose thus the process by which green plants make their food from carbon dioxide and water using energy from the sun and release oxygen is called photosynthesis chemically this reaction can be represented by an equation in which we are using the formulas to represent these raw materials water that is h2o plus carbon dioxide which is co2 in the presence of sunlight chlorophyll gives food you, we all know in plants the food is prepared in the form of glucose and oxygen is released out adding to your knowledge the water for photosynthesis is obtained from soil and the carbon dioxide is obtained from air do you know sun is the ultimate source of energy for all living organisms here diagrammatically 
we have represented the process of making food by green plants that is photosynthesis you can see clearly from the diagram the plant draws up water through their roots which is denoted by point number 1 secondly the leaves take in carbon dioxide from air you can spot it co2 in the diagram labeled as point number 2 third the leaves trap energy from sunlight it is represented by the orange circle point number 3 the plant uses the energy of sunlight to turn water and carbon dioxide into sugars and oxygen which is denoted by point number 4 this sugar is basically in the form of glucose the plant releases oxygen into the air point number 5 finally the plant uses the sugar or glucose for their growth you know beside leaves photosynthesis is also takes place in other green parts of the plant in green stems and green branches the desert plants have scale or spine like leaves to reduce loss of water by transpiration these plants have green stems which carry out photosynthesis now it's homework time these questions are based on the lecture we just did the first set of question is multiple choice question in these questions you have to choose the most appropriate option out of the given ones Question number 1 All green plants are Option A heterotrophs Option B autotrophs Option C parasites Option D symbiotic Question number 2 Plants manufacture food in the form of option a starch option b fructose option c glucose option d sucrose question number 3 chlorophyll is a dash pigment present in dash in this question two blanks are given and you have to choose the correct words question number 4 which form of energy is converted by chlorophyll question number 5 what are the various components of food That's all for this video. See you in next videos.